Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So let's get right into it. You know, I don't want to waste too much time. Today I'm going to be doing box braids on my natural hair. I'm not going to be adding any hair. Um, so I'm going to be doing 16. So my hair is already parted in fours. And I'm going to be just, you know, putting pretty much four boxes in each four section. So I washed my hair, I deep conditioned, and I'm going to start in the front because that's really where I care about the parting. Not really too worried about it in the back. Just want to make sure everything's like the same length. So the braids are the same sizes and yeah. So I am going to be using the Shea Moisture Strength and Restore Leave-In Conditioner with my Ego Style, the crystal colored one. So, now this really shouldn't take long because there are only 16 braids, but I know for a fact the hardest part about this or most tedious is going to be the parting. Which I can say I'm like the most perfect <laughs> parter, so bear with me. Obviously, if you know you watch this video and you want to do this style, take your time. You know, me, I'm probably not gonna take my time. I'm really gonna try, but probably not gonna do the best. So then I also have my um, my mousse stuff. By Big Do. Um, I'm going to be using that as like a setting foam. Just want to make sure that I get leave in all in my hair just to, you know, make sure my hair stays moisturized. I am going to try to keep this style for at least like two weeks, but I don't really know if that's going to happen. Um, you know, I always get bored of styles so we will see okay Let's start with splitting this section in half. Let's start with this one. So you don't have to do this with a gel, but knowing my like ego style, I think it will help stretch my hair. And you know, I'm going for more of a stretch braid style, you know. I know the you know hair obviously my hair is going to shrink up my hair always does but I definitely think doing it with ego style will help so I'm going to put a lot so my hair gets really weighed down
if you feel like you got like too big of a section, either start over or split one in two. But also the more gel you put, the more sleek the style will become. So. You want to be very careful when taking these out, especially if they're not the biggest. And you're just going to wrap that. Also, depending on like the direction you want the hair to go, try to do it towards the middle, if that makes sense, when you're braiding. You know, you want to do that a little tighter. But you see how I'm like my fingers, my hair is like going up, like the position I'm in.
Okay, guys, so I just finished. It didn't take me long. Um, honestly, yeah, definitely didn't take me long. I'm going to go in with my mousse, and I'm going to set it. I love the smell of this mousse. My hair is like literally so so frizzy all the time back here. I'm just gonna go put just a little bit of gel and yeah. Sixteen braids. Now, I am going to come back when they're dry and show you what they look like. Was so cute? Mm -hmm. I'm back in one second. Hey guys, so it's two days later. My braids are dry. I did laid some edges a little bit, put on some hoops, and I really love it. Um, I, yeah, I love it. It's really cute. My braids look really shiny. Um, I just stretched them. You know, when they were like almost dry, I just put them in like small bands, and like ones like these. And I just stretch them. And now every night I'll probably just stretch them more with satin scrunchies. I'll spray my hair with a little bit of water or rose water. And I'll be adding the mousse in case it gets frizzy. But I will be doing shorts on how to upkeep these braids. And um, if you like the video, stay tuned. If you want me to try out any more hairstyles, comment down below. Bye, guys.